in today's video, we're going to be unboxing this awesome figure set that I got from the Hasbro Pulse website. I ordered this about a year ago. It finally came in. This is a three-pack figure set. If you guys already know what it might be, comment down below. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, I do some reviews of Marvel Legend figures, Star Wars Black Series figures, and as well, Lego Star Wars sets and a few other sets as well. So let's look at that. This is weird netting. And yes, we have the trio, the Spider-Man No Way Home trio box set right here. This I've been waiting for a really long time. A lot of people have been getting this figure. I'm so glad I finally was able to get this, man. This thing looks awesome. You guys can see the artwork has all three different variations of Spider-Man. It does have a little bit of stuff on the back. And then on the very back, he does come with different hands as well as three different spider webs. All right, so this is how it comes. Nothing really special about this. So the first thing you have on top is you do have these Spider-Man hands. And I'll probably just put the accessories aside for now because I don't want to mix them all together. So we're going to just put them to the side. Here we do have the webs, which is also pretty dope in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get these figures out. <laughs> Yo, this detail looks insane. Let's see if you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. Man, this Spider-Man figure looks dope. So first we're gonna look at the way it looks. Right? First we're gonna look at the way it looks, right? So this is detail-wise, looks pretty dope, pretty accurate for the most part. So so next we're going to go ahead and look at the actual articulation. So of course this has double jointed elbows, but it is very stiff. So I'm actually not going to really mess with it too much. Yeah, this thing is stiff. So I'll probably have to put it in hot water. Oh man, you guys can see that. A paint scuff right there. I didn't even end up doing anything. I just now noticed that. It does have that little thigh swivel right there. It doesn't have toe articulation, which is kind of strange for a Spider-Man figure. Pretty nice overall still as far as detail. Butterfly joints, but it is, this figure is extremely stiff. I feel like this figure is going to break on me. So here we have Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, man. This color is on point. Let's go see if there's any defects first before anything. So overall, it doesn't look too bad. It does have some weird circle here on the rear end, if you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and check out that ab crunch. Man, that thing is smooth. Look at that. You hear that little click. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Definitely wouldn't want to break this. It does have double-jointed knees, and it does move pretty nice. No toe articulation, which is weird but it does have butterfly joints, which is also pretty nice in my opinion. Double jointed elbows, of course. Butterfly joints, like I stated, and its head does go up, down, rotate left and right. Overall, it's pretty nice. Cannot wait to get this posed up. Look at that, yeah, he moves a lot better than Tom Holland Spider-Man. Not sure why that figure's oddly stiff, but man, this thing moves pretty good. It is slightly stiff, but not as bad as the other one. Man, look at that. I cannot wait to get him all posed up. Articulation wise, it's pretty dope. I think it's really good. Accuracy wise, it looks pretty on point. It would be nice if it came with a different head sculpt, but of course for this price point, it wouldn't. But overall, I'm fairly satisfied. So we're gonna go ahead and put him aside and go look at the favorite the neighborhood Spider-Man, which we got Toby Maguire's version. Sam Raimi Spider-Man sculpt. Look at that. Why does that head look weird? I don't know. It looks kind of like, looks shrunken to me. I don't know if you guys see that. Maybe it's just me, but it does look very strange. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Okay, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and try the ab crunch. Look at that. I'm barely even touching it. You can see it looks about to break on me. All right. I mean, for like $100, you would think that this would be a little bit more durable, at least more touching the detail. Hopefully it doesn't break on me but overall looking okay double jointed elbows right here let's see if he has it as well okay butterfly joints 
nice fist action right here. Got that swivel, but it's very stiff. Man, these knees do not want to move, so I'm not going to force them. No toe articulation. Let's go like that. Overall, it's not bad, but these figures are really, really stiff. Can't really do anything with them. I mean, coming out the box, the idea is to start posing them, not do added work to it. So we're going to go ahead and clear all this stuff up and then just get all the accessories out. We're going to check out the web. Man, this thing feels so premium, honestly. It feels weird. I'm more excited about the web than I am of the actual figure. But this web is very clear. It, but it also has a slight, it seems like it has like a slight white, like it's not clear, crystal clear, but it may have some little bit of a whitewash in it. But it's very flexible, very rubbery, which is pretty dope. You can just move it around, intertwine it, probably do whatever you want with it. Now this could be used on other Spider-Man figures, which is also pretty dope. Now they're, all of them are the exact same. Would have been nice if they had a little bit of a variation. So here we have Tobey Maguire's hands. Now I'm not really sure if I'm going to, actually try to get all of these in the frame because it's just so small i'm not sure if it's really worth trying to do all that i'll try to do it the best i can but you know with the setup i have probably really what it won't look all too well and here we have andrew garfield's hands which i think they're all the same just obviously color different so i'm gonna show you guys this right here as you see those hands of course, you need a fist, open palm hand, and as well as a Spider-Man shooting web hand. So here we have Tom Holland's hand. We got two fists and then two Spider-Man hands. You guys can see that. Yeah, I think they're all the exact same, just obviously painted different. And I'm not really sure exactly what hands I want to use for each figure. The Tom Holland one is kind of like really weird so we got the open palm hand so we're gonna go ahead and see if we could actually take one out without hopefully breaking it so here are all three spider-man you got toby mcguire's tom holland and andrew garfield's Overall, I'm very satisfied. There are some things that I don't like about this figure set. The fact that they came all together, you know, the added detail was really good, which I like that. The articulation was really good, at least when moving. The presentation was pretty nice. The box overall was really well detailed. And I like with the artwork that they put on the box. Now having four hands is pretty good. Now the webs, Seeing it now and trying to use it, they're really not as practical as I would like it to be. And but overall, these are all great figures. Comment down below which one of these is your favorite figure, and I'll see you guys in the next video.